Did you know that starting on February 2024, Google and Yahoo have now required bulk email senders to authenticate their email sending domains with a couple more steps than usual? HubSpot has prepared masterfully for this update and is now requiring you and every HubSpot user who has connected an email sending domain in the past to update their SPF, DKIM, and DMARC records. In this video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step on how to connect your email sending domain with the corresponding SPF, DMARC, and DKIM records. Check it out. Once we're inside HubSpot, I'm going to go to this gear icon right here, click on it, and then I'm going to scroll all the way down on the left side until I reach the website section under tools and then hit uh, click on domains and URLs right here. And then what I'm going to proceed to do is actually connect a domain, right? So I will connect a domain. It'll be an email sending domain in this case. So I'm just going to choose to connect. I'm going to insert my domain and I'm going to just put an at and then I'll do maybe info right there. This will be the domain that I'm going to connect and that'll be it. So I'll hit next and that's pretty much what we need to do now in this part right here. What I actually want to do is begin to connect the DK, DKIM, the SPF and the DMARC. Uh, so we'll go uh, one by one on the let's go from the easiest to the hardest. Right. So in this case, the missing record is DMARC, and so we do have a record type, which is the text, the host, current data is not found, but this is the required data. So this is a pretty simple uh, thing we got to do. So I'll go to my domains. In, in my case, they're listed under Namecheap, so I'll just go to Namecheap, and then I'll click on my domain right here. I'll hit Manage. Once it loads, I'm going to go into the Advanced DNS function, this tab right here, and then in here is the host record. So in here is where I want to actually add uh, the new uh, DMARC, right? So basically, in this case, I w it is a record type TXT. So base, and I'll just copy the host. So I'll go over here, click Add New Record, choose the text record, and then in the host, I'm going to just put in the host that it mentioned in HubSpot. I'll come back to it and just copy the required data, and I'll place it in the value field right here. And then I'll just uh, save changes and this should apply to my DNS. And so um, right now I'm going to go back. I'm going to hit verify. And if it does not do it right away, it will most likely do it when we come back to it. So basically uh, DMARC will be set up right there. The next step is going to be uh, connecting the DKIM, right? So this one includes uh, two records and they're both C name type of records and this is the host and this is the required data so I'll just copy the host for the first record which will be a C name so I'll add a new one a C name record the host is already uh, copied and pasted it and then the required data is this and then I'll just uh, place it in there and hit save changes afterwards I'm going to connect the next uh, C name record for the DKIM verification so I'll just copy the host I'll do pretty much the exact exact same process so C name host and then come back to the required data copy it and then place it and then save changes now this should update my records in a little bit so I'll just hit refresh in this case and then once I hit check again if it does not do it right away we'll come back to it later on the last one we do have to check and as you can see I did do a verification right now I rechecked it and the DMARC is set up as well as the DKIM record but right now we uh, are still missing the SPF record right um, in this video we're also going to uh, link a knowledge base article that explains exactly how to combine um, multiple SPF records so that with without needing to delete your previous SPF record, you can update it with this included HubSpot data, right? So in this case, it is a text um, record type as, as well. The host is right here. And then over here, if it's already included, just hit to edit this block record right here. And then I will add a space and then include the HubSpot one as well, right? So in here, let's also make sure we move this all signature right there all the way to the right side of our record and then hit save and now that we come back to hubspot we can see that our domain has been successfully connected i'll hit done and then as i refresh in here you can see that my uh get my crm in order dot today 
email sending domain has been fully authenticated. And that's pretty much all it takes. You are now ready to send out any email marketing communications from HubSpot to your clients, knowing that you're fully compliant with the new email regulations. Remember, education is great, but the execution is where it's at. So go out there and be the hub hero that your organization needs today.